In the last 25 years, Theatre of Note has presented over 150 productions. The LA Weekly, American Theatre Magazine, Backstage West, Dramalogue, Penn Center USA, and the Ovations Committee all agree that the mercurial and phoenix-like Theatre of Note is a local artistic wonder and have shown their support by gracing Theatre of Note with over 75 nominations in various categories of professional theatrical production. Out of these 75 nominations, Note has been awarded nearly 50 times. Theatre of Note was founded in 1981 by UC Irvine graduates Kevin Carr, Melanie McQueen, and Kitty Feldy. Its original incarnation as the New One-Act Theatre Ensemble, or N-O-T-E, Theatre of Note, was geared specifically as a forum in which to mount original one-act plays. It was hoped by the founding ensemble members to provide an entertaining, stimulating, and supportive environment for new, unproduced playwrights. While the original intent of presenting only one-act plays has changed over the years to the more ambitious goal of mounting an annual season of original full-length plays, the integrity inherent within the hope of nurturing burgeoning playwrights has remained solidly intact. The original ensemble moved into a black box space in downtown Los Angeles in 1982. They produced four complete seasons at 301 Boyd Street, culminating in the mounting of an evening of Michael Shirtliff One Acts, starring Angelica Houston. The next four seasons found the company looking for a new home. The 86 through 89 seasons were housed in different locations around Los Angeles. Various theater companies in Los Feliz, Santa Monica, and Hollywood served as temporary hosts to the traveling ensemble. But, even with no home to call their own, Theatre of Note still managed to win several Dramalogue Awards and produce four full seasons of original work, rapidly becoming a mainstay in the Los Angeles theatre community. 1989 brought great change to the struggling company. First, a space was found at the corner of Kenmore Avenue and Hollywood Boulevard, which they transformed into an intimate black box theater. Second, in a dramatic move for the tiny, still very new company, it was decided that Theater of Note would restructure itself into a company managed completely by the ensemble itself, thus eschewing the typical theatrical prototype of utilizing an appointed artistic director. With this radical, untried step, Note ventured into the uncharted territory of a democratically run theatrical organization, a structure that remains to this day. It is this structure that gives note its individuality and notoriety. While other theater companies in Los Angeles have since adopted the membership-run structure under which note has operated for almost 15 years now, few have the same seemingly unwavering support of its membership. The majority of the membership feels that Theatre of Note is their artistic home. This loyalty to the company runs very deep. And it is this depth, this loyalty, this dedication to craft and art that is reflected in the original material the company picks every year to fill its season. The five years at the Kenmore space were prolific and powerful for the company. Dozens of works were presented, garnering an unprecedented ten awards for the ensemble. As the accolades rolled in, and the audiences became more and more aware of this die-hard theater company and its reputation for bringing outstanding world premieres to the stage, it seemed that Note's future was paved with award-worthy gold and lined with nothing but positive notices and well-deserved artistic credibility. Then, on January 17, 1994, an earthquake hit the Los Angeles area, measuring 6.8 on the Richter scale, rendering the Kenmore building uninhabitable 
and forcing the company to cancel its entire season. It is a testament to those ensemble members who went through the disaster that the company remained together at all. But through hard work and fundraising, they managed to raise just enough money during what should have been their 13th season to find, refurbish, and move into the old Hollywood Sign Company at 1517 Coenga Boulevard in the heart of Hollywood. In a wonderfully tongue-in-cheek gesture, Theater of Note managed to open the doors to its new theater space exactly one year after the Northridge earthquake had chased them from their former home. It is in this space on the Coenga Corridor that Theater of Note has flourished artistically over the last 12 years, quietly doing their quality work of bringing the unheard voices in the American theater to the Los Angeles area audiences. During this time, Note's reputation has grown in leaps and bounds. In presenting an impressive assortment of new, eclectic, and unique work, Theater of Note has cemented its reputation as a risk-taking company that is never satisfied with simply resting on its theatrical laurels. Guest appearances by Jack Black, Anne Magnuson, Nancy Cartwright, Walter Koenig, John Fleck, and Jennifer Tilly give credibility to Theater of Note as a cutting-edge, daring, and ultimately unsinkable group of theater artists who, having staked a claim in Hollywood's cultural gold, plan to remain for a very long time. In this, their 25th season, Theater of Note will prove once again that tenacity, dedication, and perfectly pitched ensemble work will result in another collection of award-winning world premieres. This is what has kept them going for 25 successful years. And with luck, patience, and your help, Theatre of Note will continue to break new theatrical ground by continuing to produce challenging, provocative, professional new work from their tiny space on Coenga Boulevard.